Well, it started when my daughter needed blood for her infusions, and we were driving into the city, and I would kept calling the hospital ahead, ahead of time, and they would say, oh, we don't have enough, so go back home. <laughs> Laurie Carr is one of the special individuals that we get the opportunity to work with. Um, every day of the year we are out collecting blood throughout the Chicagoland area and we rely on volunteer coordinators to help us. When we started off I didn't think, selfishly I only thought of my situation, but when the numbers started coming in and, and Red Cross would tell me, you know, you got this many units and you saved these many lives tonight, you start to realize we saved these many lives tonight. Lori brings over a hundred donors to most of her large events and it really takes asking individuals one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we'd love it if it would be as easy as putting up a poster and having people come, but in most cases it takes the personal phone calls, the personal asks, and really telling people the importance of it, which Lori knows the importance of blood better than most people. When I started the blood drives, I also donated blood and um, I would be the last person to donate blood. And so I went in and um, the person said, your iron level is really low, you need to go to the doctor. The results came back, I found out I had cancer. And so after all those years of donating blood, I realized it was the one thing that saved me. The need for blood is constant. We never know when an accident's gonna happen, a premature baby is going to need blood to survive, and it's really having people come in all the time that makes the difference. Every two seconds, someone could need blood. We would not um, be here today without the community, and I do wanna thank everybody for donating blood, because she, she wouldn't be here, I wouldn't have been diagnosed. I mean, it just, it's, it's the circle of life, really.